All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the pre-market show. Hope everyone is having a great morning. Good morning, Norm. How are you doing today? Hey, good morning, Carlos. I'm doing great. How about yourself? Doing good. Doing good. Excellent, guys. So uh, let's see what the market has for us today. We had a quite a big of a gappers list yesterday, and it just seemed like a lot of stuff was a bit choppy uh, at the open. Um, not a lot of great uh, movers right off the bat. Uh, market was pretty flat as well, so we didn't get just we didn't get a lot of momentum moves, at least not on the stuff I was watching. Uh, but then looking at some other stuff like AMD, I mean those th those things traded well. So um, AMD was awesome yesterday. If you was watching that, I mean this traded really amazing, um, opening up a little bit up today at less than half of a percent. Uh, but overall, our, our gappers list uh, again. We'll go we'll go through them. We'll go through each and one individually here, and then we also have a low flow M M uh, MTP on here. Uh, but just not not the best star. I guess a lot of stuff was just waiting to see, you know, which direction it was going to settle in on. Um, and that caused a lot of chops. So I know a lot of traders in the room had a tough time yesterday. Um, it just seemed the market not to get going in one direction. So uh, but we did mention that we did have an idea that it could be choppy. Brian also, when he came on, he also mentioned, you know, uh, based on the way the market was trading, you know, be careful uh, uh, with some of the chop that we might receive yesterday. So. Let's hope today we have a better day. Our gappers list looking pretty nice here. We got some names I could tell we haven't seen up here in a while. MMM uh, probably on, er on earnings down eight eight percent here. We got nine point four. We got another one down ten percent. So quite a uh, some big numbers on here. How about this one up thirty one percent? So can't wait to take a look at that one. Um, we got some serious um, gappers uh, gappers there. All right, guys. So let's look as usual. Let's take a look at what we had yesterday. Let's start over here with eBay. So let's zoom into our five minute uh, chart from yesterday. Uh, what do we have here? It is. Yep. Right in this area in here. So we'll see what that looks like. And then let's look at also um, the one minute. Let's get the one minute in here as well. All right. So here's what we had on eBay. I was watching this price action very closely. It has some good volume, but just look at this five minute uh, action here. This was very choppy. Um, again, it just kind of shows you what some of the stocks were doing, uh, bouncing up, then selling back down, then right back up. So this, this was just not clean. We were, we were watching this closely. Qcom did the same thing as well. Oxy did the same thing as well, right? Um, so again, just kind of creating a lot of chop here. It finally settled down here, and it did this uh, move towards the top. Um, got some higher, higher highs, higher lows here. Just kind of uh, getting above VWAP. That could have been a good indication. But we saw when this happened. This happened so fast. It really didn't give you a chance to get a good entry. I mean, this took off immediately. It didn't really uh, give you a chance. But but uh, remember this here, this up and this down. Remember that because you're going to see that a lot uh, in our watches from yesterday. Here is Snap. Snap sold off nicely. It just right from the start, it was just really weak. Gave everything back here, selling down nicely. I did not have shares for sure, um, but this was one that, again, sold off really nice. Great opening range breakup. Again, uh, very important guys on these opening range breakup or breakdowns you want to this is your range here you want to wait for that pullback right don't chase this in here um because again after the fact this looks great now right a little nice drop well, well why not chase it in there you know it can keep going down but usually you get a, an aggressive pullback you don't know when that pullback is coming and you don't want to be the one to get into that trade and then get stuck in that pullback so wait for the pullback you get a pullback right here on the five minute right to the wrap and then it turns out to be a beautiful drop you get a you know you get a good risk to reward uh, for the break of this range here um cat was also on our list cat also very choppy pops up here sells down um again the, the five it gave you a good entry here but again i was watching this one just didn't trade trade clean neither uh, for me personally uh let's take a look at oxy oxy again same thing we talk about the same uh same pop right pops up here uh we got in actually i got in for a long for opening range breakup in here so i had a good entry for this and then on the way up it's just the price action seemed very funky so i took everything out here uh, I see made a new high, so we got a good entry there. But same thing, right? Pops up, can make a new high, then sells right back down, right? So kind of the same thing we saw on eBay. Uh, let's look at QCOM, same thing. Uh, pops up and then sells right back down. So again, just no continuation on the first move that we got here. Um, then it just became pure chop here. QCOM, the price action was very difficult to uh, identify what it wanted to do. Um, gave you a pop here, and then finally it sells off here. A false VWAP, VWAP breakout, and then it sells it sells down. But again, it it was very difficult to trade. I know a lot of traders had a tough time trading QCOM in this area here. Uh, it's just very very difficult. Uh, T, uh, what did T do? Again, also same thing, right? On the one you can see it better. Pops up, then sells right back down. No continuation. 
And uh, T, once I saw this uh, candle here, it just looked a little funky. Um, so I thought it was going to sell off. We got in for a sell off, didn't go nowhere. So we got our break even. Um, and then again, just pure chop after that, then eventually sold off. So although we had a good watch list, um, a lot of stuff didn't trade well. So this is why, you know, even though you, you're in earnings season, you got some tickers on here that, you know, it's got some volume because all this stuff had a beautiful uh, pre-market action in regards to vo volume, right? They all had great volume. Um, you know, but sometimes just at the open, if you don't get those nice moves, those good indications, that good continuation, uh, you want to make sure you're not forcing anything. Uh, let's take a look today at uh, MTP. MTP also um, was very good, had a good uh, pre-market action. This one actually traded very well. Look at this ABCD pattern here. All right, it turned out to be real nice. We were watching this. Me and Brian were trading live yesterday, as everyone knows. Uh, Andrew is actually on, on uh, in India on vacation. Uh, climbing some mountains. He will be having a meetup tomorrow, 4:26 in uh, in Goa, India. So check the forums for that meetup. Um, and as you can see here, again, just um, Brian called it out in this area here when it was happening, and uh, and it just took off nicely all the way to breaking a new high. So uh, that traded well as as also. But AMD, let's look at AMD. Uh, AMD was just amazing. You had this consolidation happening around the VUF, just you know, just bouncing around. After it settles in, it cannot make a new low here. Starts making newer highs. And then boom, it just takes off, gets towards the high of day, and then from there it just never looks back. There's a consolidation here, nice bull flag, and then it just takes off again. So uh, AMD was very strong yesterday. Uh, look at this beautiful double bottom on the one minute. You could play it off these levels. You know, again, very tough to get in here because the double bottom this early on, it, it's a little tough right before 10 o'clock. I, I usually like to look for these after 10 o'clock, uh, but this is very clean. The minute it goes above VWAP and it closes here, this is a good risk to reward, and uh, you, you know you could take this for along here. So beautiful trade on AMD. Hope uh, a lot of you guys took advantage of that trade. Uh, so that was our watch list yesterday. Let's see what the market has for us today. Let's look at our gappers list. Let's get in here with the first we got one. We a pretty have. good list today. What was that? I said we got a pretty good list today. Uh -huh. Yeah, we do. It's a very nice list here. A lot of names I haven't seen here in a while, so that's good. Uh, a R C I. Let's take a look at this. This is up 30%, 962,000 shares traded so far. Let's get our charts in line for today's uh, action. Uh, there it goes, guys. Abio uh, posted the meetup link and information on there. Actually, it's on Facebook. You can confirm if you know if you, if you can make that. That'll be great. Um, so ARC is up uh, almost 30%. Wow, 600,000 shares flow. So this is very very dangerous to trade. Very low flow. Um, you just want to be very careful with this one. There we go. I'm going to put this one all the way down here. Pre-market action looks very strong at the moment. Uh, it's popping up nicely. Um, but again, just a very low flow stock. So we want to uh, be very careful on this one. Next, we have Facebook. Uh, Facebook is on here. Let's see what Facebook got for us. Facebook looks very active this morning. 1.6 million shares traded so far. Wow. Oh, yeah. 8.5. That is sweet. Uh, Carlos, I got up when I got up at I think it was it was either five or six AM this morning, my time central. Mm -hmm. Three hundred thousand shares had already traded. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah, Facebook is definitely in play, gapping up nicely. Is there is there earnings or news? Um Yeah, they they reported earnings last night. Yeah. Oh nice. Yeah, this looks very, very good. Some serious volume here. Um yeah, we Facebook is definitely in play today. Let's take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft was active yesterday as well. Today they're they're up 5.3. Also looking very nice. Nice daily chart here has been strong for the last couple of, of days, weeks, just re slowly climbing higher and higher. Um, this could also be because of the market, right? The market has been um, somewhat bullish, not taking off, but slowly making your highs, trying to get to that all-time high. Um, Microsoft, wow, it looks like it's definitely the 52-week high we're hearing, which a lot of stocks are reaching. It's an all-time high. Sweet. It's an all-time high, and at, at this at this uh, number, it's actually a trillion-dollar company now. Wow! Uh, so this is interesting. Yep. Microsoft is in uh, good shape here. It's got some good volume, good pre-market action, which we usually don't get from Microsoft. This is, looks nice here. Uh, yeah, perfect, perfect. All right, so Microsoft is good. M O. What do we have on M O? Up, uh, actually down 4.2. Uh, 126,000 shares, so not much volume. Uh, the daily chart looks funky. What, what stock is this? This is uh, Altria. Never heard of them. Altria cigarettes. Yeah, it used to be it used to be part of Philip Morris that they split off. Oh, okay, okay. 
So you can see here, it's got a funky daily chart, pops up, drops, pops up and drop, and then now we got another drop here again. Um, it is a nicey stock. Pre-market action uh, looks so, so, but where's the volume? All right, so we got a nice little range here, uh, but I don't see, I'm not seeing the volume in here. Um, it, has, it, has a, it says 120, uh, 27,000 shares traded, but again, I just don't think it got good, clean volume. And the daily chart's a little funky as well. We do have shares for sure. Um, uh, I'm the fence on this one. Uh, we'll come back to it. 3M. Let's see what 3M is up to. So 3M, well, it's, they're taking a hit this morning, down 8.1. Uh, got a got a okay daily chart. We got some le clean levels we can find off here. One here, uh, pretty choppy within this area here. Uh, but we got a clean level right in here we can find, and some other ones towards the top you can see in here and here. So this looks good. Let's look at the pre-market action. 273,000 shares traded already. Pre-market action looks okay. We got a nice little range going on here with some volume. A higher price stock, um, but overall the action looks uh, looks decent. GRTS, GRTS down 9.8, uh, 109,000 shares traded. Pre-market action, uh, not great. Need some volume. Just trying to pull a range here. If it had more volume, this probably would have looked a lot nicer. Uh, but only 109,000. 109,000 shares traded at the moment. Uh, we do have some levels we can possibly trade off here. Daily chart looks a, a little funky. Not not great, but not. I'm not gonna say it's bad neither. So uh, it's right in between. We'll take a look at it in a second. Hopefully, you can get the volume though. That's what this one is missing right now. It needs some volume to get going one way uh, or the other. Uh, what is the float on this one? Because it is a lower price stock. What GR? Oh, it's right here actually. All right, so it is a low flow. It's 11 million shares flow. So I'm going to throw this down here, GRTS. So it is a lower flow, 11 million shares. We'll throw it on there. Next, we have X, XLNX. So XLNX uh, down 10%. That's nice. 382,000 shares traded. It's got a it's got a nice daily chart. You know, it's got a little range here. Not not big can not big bodies uh, on the candles here. You got a lot of small candles. So I'm not sure what the ATR is on this one. Um, what do we have for ATR? Uh, two two fourteen. All right, it's not bad. Two fourteen definitely in play today. Down almost eleven percent. Pre market action looks uh, so so. We do have some giant orders in here. A lot of volume in this candle here. That's almost a uh, one third of the volume or even more. Ninety seven thousand shares. Um, so let's see if that volume can start, you know, if we can get that ramp. We like to see that ramp come up with some volume and just stay steady and create some nice flow to it. Uh, daily chart looks good because we have a level here we're trying to hold now. We also have some other levels we can find uh, right in this area here. Here as well, you can see uh, some clear levels on there. Got a moving average, which just went under as well. And we got some possible levels down here. So this one looks interesting. Uh, we'll keep it on here. Let's see what it does here. It looks like it's trying to find a bottom at the moment, 125. 124.80 is the low right now of the pre-market. It looks like it might be trying to find something where it can uh, find some support. Next, we have HMI. So HMI is uh, down also 10, almost 11%, 243,000 shares traded. How's the daily chart on this? Uh, so daily chart, getting a nice drop. It is on short selling restriction already, but we do have shares for sure. Daily chart is a little funky. What's going on with this one? This one over the last couple of days was trading at 20. Now it's down back to 986. What kind of company is this? Um, never heard of them. Hugh Ami, whatever that is. And the flow also 14. Yeah, it's a low flow, lower flow, 14 million shares. We'll throw it down here as well. Could tell it's trading like a low flow. Again, you had this beautiful pop all the way up to 20. Uh, daily chart looks a little funky here. Uh, we do have shares for short, but it is on short selling restriction. Uh, it's got some volume, but the pre-market action is very choppy right now. Uh, still early, 8.45 Eastern time um, coming up. So um, let's see if this can get a little better. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, that covers our gappers list. Let's look at our NASDAQ active, NASDAQ gainers. Um, here we have a NASDAQ ETF, FB, FB we have, FB is looking really good. Again, very active, tons of volume. I don't think I've ever seen Facebook trade this much volume at this time, 1.8 uh, million yeah, shares so crazy. far. That's that's big. Um, NVEV, we haven't seen this one here in a while. This used to pop up a lot into our top list. Today they are 1.3 million shares traded. They're up 8.5. Um, we have traded in the past. This one is tradable. Um, 
it is tradable. It, it trades a little funky, but I've seen people trade it successfully. Right now they have a good pre-market action. You can see this nice little pop here, heading back down. I'm going to go in here and just remove these levels because we did these levels when it was up, gapping up here. Um, but now we have a lot more data and information. So as you get more recent data and information, as you know, whether you're in a trade, whether you're looking at the daily chart, you just want to update your levels to the most current uh, up-to-date information. Uh, same thing, we teach that in one of our classes of trade management, right? As you get new data when you're in a trade, you might need to change your stop loss. You might need to uh, reanalyze what your profit taking is going to be, you know, whether you're going to stay in the trade or not. As new information is developing, you want to make sure you have that good trade management. So we'll get some new levels in here. I put in 621 and we also have 670 up there as well. And uh, we'll find some more uh, in details in a second. So this one looks all right. Let's go down here. Um, NVBEV. Next we have ARCI. At I believe we have that right yeah this is a low float so we have this on here look at this daily chart wow i mean this is going this has got to be some serious news on this we're going from under a buck to four dollars consolidated and now we're heading up to seven has this thing even been up here before what's the deal with this one that looks like the classic pump and duck dump yeah, low float that's, what I'm, that's what i'm thinking because everything here is under a buck and you know, I don't see a lot of information on here, so let's be careful with this one. Again, this uh, one is a hundred six hundred split too. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's six hundred thousand shares, guys. So, appliance recycling center, appliance. So I don't know. Um, looks good now, but just be very, very careful. All right, so let's um let's look at Microsoft. We have as well, also looking good, hitting all time highs. NBRX. This one, this one definitely does not trade well. I don't, I don't like this one. Also, um, last couple of days has not been really doing much, so I'm just gonna bypass it. Does have some volume today, 583,000 shares traded, um, but just not something I want, I want to look at. Uh, Nasdaq ETF, Tesla. Let's look at Tesla. Um, Tesla's daily chart looks very interesting. Uh, again, we just continue to lose these support, right? We had this support here, we lost this one. We had this one here as well, right? We tested it at least three times, we lost it. And now we're at the last support over the last couple of weeks, right in here. We're literally testing that now. And then under that, what do we have under that? Yeah, so we have some areas here as well. We're getting close to this support that we've been having over the last couple of months. So uh, that's interesting. We either get a good bounce or we're gonna drop even more. So. Tesla is a higher price stock. I, I probably will not trade it, but I am going to find some levels and and, uh, and watch it because it is at a really interesting daily chart. It does have some volume today and it's down 1.5. That's the reason why it's not showing up here in our gappers list, but it looks uh, it looks pretty active today. Um, what else we have? Last one on this column, VXR. VXR, a penny stock, so we're not going to uh, bother with this one. ARCI we have. That's a dangerous one as we talked about. Uh, trying to crack seven bucks here, climbing from 480 this morning. So that's just insane. Um, on on 1.4 million shares traded, so it's basically traded itself over at least uh, well twice, right? $600 shares float. So it's getting to that. Uh, RWLK, RWLK. We had this one before. Let's see what's the float on this one. RWLK. Yeah, also a low float. Doesn't have the volume though. It looks like it's starting to build a good pre-market action, but only 51,000 shares traded right now. You know, it needs to get more volume to be to be really in play. Now, uh, next one on here, BCOV, nothing happening. We'll skip that one. TZOO, uh, not much going on. NBEV, we have. Uh, this one's very active. 1.3 million shares traded so far, up 10%. And the daily chart is interesting because look, you had a couple of days where it's just consolidating here. Had a somewhat of a green day yesterday right nice big pop here trying to leave this range and now you're gapping up so you're having a problem here with this 621 which we have from this day here so let's see how that uh, how that develops here uh, i don't have shares for short but if it can find a rhythm and if this thing is really running we can possibly get to towards this 670 area uh, so that one is interesting uh, facebook we have we know that's looking great pte what's going on with pte no volume that's a nice uh round here bottom bottom amount um status here going on but again just no volume chdn uh, no volume and microsoft we have and then mara mara we have here uh choppy no no uh, no volume all right so we got quite a bit um especially on the low flow area or at least lower price stock we got a few that are moving nicely let's make some more room here what do you guys guys have on your end 
uh, XL. You looked at Xilinx, but you took it off. Oh, off, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I figured. Wait a minute, we looked at that one. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, know. we did. I don't know why it dropped off. Yeah, no, this is good. So yeah, this is on here. That's the it's dial. a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, what else do we have? CLF. CLF. All right, CLF's got some volume here. Daily charts uh, look so so. We got some days where it has a lot of gaps in between here. What kind of stock is this? Um, doesn't look like it's a foreign stock. Uh, let's see what the price action looks like. So we do got some volume on here, but the price action, you got a lot sitting on this candle here. 112,000 yeah. shares traded here. I'm not seeing a lot a lot of volume here, though the pre-market action, the price action itself looks nice. So you got a nice flow here, but I'm not seeing a lot of volume. I don't like you know go ahead i don't like how the volumes dropped off i don't like how the volumes really dropped off in the last 10 minutes on the one minute chart up there yeah 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 right and even even before then it started dropping off really early because you got this huge drop yeah there, right and it's just it, it's trading funky this looks good guys right this looks good here but i i don't like the volume like norm said neither i don't like what's going on here and look at this drop in volume um and if we look at let's see what the daily chart has so yeah, daily chart looks interesting too. You got a nice pop here, but I think I want to go with something that's a little more active today. Yeah, I know you probably think Carlos, you're crazy. It has three hundred fifty-eight thousand shares traded, but the price action now in the volume is just not a not as clean as I would like it to be. Uh, so we have John Smith, Facebook. Yep, we have all those those all good stocks. We have those on here. Um, let's look what else we have. Uh, Anybody else has anything that they see that maybe we did not look at? PYX, no volume yet, but it's a good good one to watch. Let's check. Uh, uh, PYX. It's got a, yeah, it's got a nice daily chart. I see what you're looking at. It's got a nice bounce here. You had a couple of days where it's just uh, been consolidating here. Yes, um, the day before, another pop. So yeah, I see how this could be interesting later on today. Um, it can either get a drop or try to break out of this these levels over here, right after a nice move up. So. Has an interesting daily chart. Yeah, no, nothing going on right now, but it could be a possible for for later on. The way AMD traded yesterday, I do want to watch AMD. I mean, that was that was really clean. Uh, for those that are just joining us, welcome to the pre-market show. But look at this. Uh, we saw this early. Look at this um, move from AMD. Right, comes below view app. Cannot cannot uh, sell any lower. Uh, clear wicks over here showing that there's some buying pressure happening, and then boom, it takes off. Uh, above the web hits the high of day and pops up nicely so uh, yeah a steady dollar move that's huge for amd yeah that's huge and and then look look how this pre-market was right this pre-market is horrible right no no pre-market action yep. um but uh, and the daily chart amd is interesting as well it's trying to make higher highs as it goes yeah you got this red candle in here but really it's making higher highs and higher lows right on the wicks at least is doing that so it's got an interesting daily chart uh we got some clean levels we can hit off as well yeah, I, I, I might keep an eye on on, uh, on AMD also. Um, Norm, anything you like on your end? Um, I know Facebook, I know it's probably one I, you're gonna like a lot today. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have Apple on watch and NVIDIA. Um, mm -hmm. they, they, Apple chopped yesterday. I took a trade short on it um, and then it, it just hesitated. I finally got out of it and like three minutes later, one of the members in the chat said, hey, it just made the move we were talking about. So oh, it, yeah. I, that frustrated me. But um, yeah, I mean, just the my normal suspects, the Apple, NVIDIA, Apple, Facebook, NVIDIA. Microsoft, I like a lot. Mm -hmm. And Xilinx, I like a lot, so. Cool. Uh, CLSL, CNSL, uh, what do we have here? So we don't have great volume right now. Pre-market action looks a little, little choppy not a little this is choppy this is pure chop right now um and again it's just because you don't have the volume so you got this big drop here that's down 29 percent. i mean almost 30 that's crazy um but you don't really have a lot of volume and that's also scary right you, you have this big drop with no volume um you know you don't want to be stuck on the wrong side and somebody drops this thing on you so you do have shares for sure um daily chart is uh, what's the flow daily chart is not not bad not great right in between um, it is it's not a low flow so it is you know you could trade this but I, you really have to wait to see how the volume comes in how the price price action is at the open right because right now there's really not much happening um, and it is down 20 uh, you know almost 30 percent with just 62,000 shares traded that's a little bit scary so just be careful with that um, really wait to see what the volume is at the open you don't want to be stuck in something that's not moving um, you know it's just not getting any volume 
but but I see what you're looking at. The daily chart is interesting, right? You had these levels at nine, and now you're opening up at six, right? So um, also the ATR on this looks uh, aggressive today. I mean, showing 47 cents here, but this thing dropped from from nine to six. So be very careful on how many shares you take on this one. All right, so I like AMD. Let's look at um. Let's look uh, Nvidia, right? Nvidia, you had us. Well, let's take a look at that. All right, so it's yeah, not no. doing a whole lot right now, but it, it'll mm -hmm. possibly change as the market opens. All right, excellent. All right, folks. So let's uh, let's find some levels for this. Um, let's see what we got going on. Uh, let's start with Facebook. So Facebook again. Oh wow, two point two now. So it's just the volume is just soaring here. Uh, high of the pre market sitting at one ninety nine eighty. Uh, we're about to probably crank that now. Looks like low of the pre market sitting at a uh, 195.31. And uh, let's get some levels over here. So, back in last year, we have some levels where clean level all the way up here, obviously, to 1852. Then we have this one right in here. I like this level for several reasons. It's 203.73. Um, you got these two days using it as, as resistance. This one has resistance. These these three uh, as support takes off from here, so that's nice. You got some confirmation, um, so that's a good level in there. You can possibly mark this one as well. Two hundred one eighty five. I don't want to have too many, but this one's good too because you got this day here and also this day testing that at two hundred one. Uh, towards the bottom, we already have the low of the pre market at one ninety five fifty. I don't think you need to add any more in here. Um, I mean, we could, because Facebook does move a lot. You could, uh, you could mark this one on here, 197.80. You got several days testing this, uh, this, uh, this level here, 197.80. So you got some stuff in between there just to um, play it safe. And just look how, again, we go, we went back to the daily chart. We found this 197.80, and you could clearly see how this is being tested here, right? So. Other people are looking at this as well. They're buying it right at that area, maybe 198. Is where you want to look at a whole dollar. Um, so that's being checked out as well. All right, so Facebook is really good. It's got some serious volume and climbing. It's got a beautiful pre-market action, guys. This is a good. Pre this looks like it's open, right? When a stock looks like it's actually market is open, that's that's a good sign. And volume just keep has to ramp, right? Volume just keeps getting better and better. So very nice there. Microsoft also has got a good pre-market action. It's got some good volume, 750. Uh, 51 dollars shares traded um, high right now sitting at 131.85 low out of the, of the pre-market sitting at 129.35 and then this is all-time high right so there's nothing up here this is uh this is it guys uh we have uh the next no no moving averages up here no levels and the only thing we have is this gap down here so um unless there's anything is there anything higher than the gap we just have i don't believe we do what about in in the 90s the tech bubble nothing nope not even all right cool that's it so that's all we have on microsoft um we got those two levels that you got some good some good volume really good pre-market action up five percent uh so microsoft is nice um m o m o i don't i don't like i mean it's just it's trying to put in something but it's really the volume is not really here so i'm gonna get rid of m o uh, what we can do actually on here, it looks like we traded it before, or at least we looked at it. We got some levels in here. Let's put some levels just in case we get surprised and we get like an AMD move where the pre-market action is horrible. And next thing you know, it is hitting our scanners in one way or the other, because we do have shares for sure. We could play this both ways. So it's nice to have those stocks. You have the option here. Uh, low of the pre-market 50, uh, 51, 57. Um, below that, we have a nice clean level right in here at a uh, 50 or uh, 89. Above this clean level right in here for several days of 55, uh, 31. So we got a couple of levels in there, but right now this is not looking great. I'm gonna get rid of it uh, for the open. Uh, Triple M it's just looks seems choppy now. Um, she's kind of not doing much. She's kind of hanging around this price at 2139, 2140. It's got some volume, but it is down 8%, which is a lot for a stock that's trading at 218. Uh, so low of the pre market sitting at 197. Uh, what do we have in here? We can mark down this day as well, 198.41. And then towards the top, you got this level here, 1202.60. Uh, Another one here as well, several days consolidating within this area here, 204.87. So 
we got some levels in here. Uh, again, I'm not liking the pre-market action uh, right now, although it's got some volume, some volume. It just seems very choppy for me, so I'm, I'm just going to remove this one. Uh, but I have some levels just in case. Tesla, on the other hand, Tesla looks good. Looks like it's ready to lose this level here. It's been, it's been holding this low of the pre-market sitting at uh, 250.806. So I'm just going to bring this level down here. Uh, to, I'm sorry, 254. 254, let's bring this down. So it's trying to maintain that level now. Uh, but again, it's just at a point where I think it can really lose in the next level after this one towards the bottom. We'll have to go back to October of last year. I mean, it's really right on there. It's 248.47. Uh, Price action not far away from that. Um, and if it loses this, just in case it wants to take a dive, what do we have? Uh, well, we're really going back now. So in this area here, just just to have something else, just in case we we get surprised here on Tesla. Who knows if our buddy uh, Elon Musk does something on Twitter that would be interesting. Two for, two, uh, 243.77. So we have some levels on here. Again, looks interesting. looks like it's trying to hold this 254 um, low of the pre-market right now. Bring it down right here. Um, let's see what it does. Uh, S, X, L, and X. Yeah, this looks good too. Um, and it's got a good daily chart as well. So we have high of the pre-market sitting at 129.13. Uh, low of the pre-market uh, hanging around 124.80. We have a level down here at uh, 122.50. Uh, um, a clean one down here too. You got several days bouncing off this 120.12 uh, and then another one all the way down here. I don't think we'll get to this one, but 116.72, um, you can't miss that level. It's just clearly clearly bounce from their change of direction uh, towards the top. So even though we have the high of the pre-market sitting at 129, I, I like all these all these consolidations happening here. So I want to want to get a level in between here just to have something close closer to the price action in case we're going to get a bounce off this 124.86, right? Obviously, we tested this several times in the pre-market today um, that well, that 124.80. So if we get a bounce, a 127.47 could be a possible area of profit taking or a possible area of uh, changing direction. So I want to have that on there. Uh, then we have AMD. Um, let's get some levels removed here. AMD traded beautifully yesterday, so I want to watch it today. Uh, just in case, I do like the daily chart. It's been making higher highs and higher lows as we go here, right? So it's been trying to break out of this range, right? So it broke this range clearly. Uh, it had a, uh, a hard time getting above this. It did that yesterday. And today we're slightly uh, pretty much flat. But again, I want to see if we can get some momentum going here uh, towards the top. We have um, I was going to mark this level here, but we're, we, we're so close to this one. I don't want to mark another level that close to it. Um, the next good one will be this one here, 2935 and then clear up here, 2966 and all the way up here, 2994 uh, or so. Um, so let's see how AMD um, does at the open again. Not a great pre-market action, guys. We'll have to see how this develops uh, at the open. Uh, next, we have N. I'll look at Twitter next too. Let me put a Twitter in here. We'll look at that in a second. TWTR. Uh, MBEV. Again, it's very active. So we have a level towards the top, 621, high of the pre-market. Uh, then we also have uh, this one here, 670, really is the best level after this. So we have a nice pop over there. Um, Towards the bottom, you got the previous day um, high already, very close to the previous day, to the low of the pre-market, so that's good. Previous day close right in here, and then several levels towards the bottom as well. So um, I think you're fine there. We got a long way from 670 after 621. So let's say if we do run, I want to get a level in here. Um, I'm going to mark this one down because you got this day here, several days opening and closing around this area, 641, and then these two days as well here. So. Just to have something in between, because from here, six bucks all the way to six seventy, that that's a bit of a move. There's got to be some area where we can expect some loss of momentum or you know a consolidation point if we can get above this six twenty one. Uh, so I want to have something in there. Um, all right. So what else we have here? HMI. Again, HMI. What was it on this one? This is fourteen million shares float uh, and MVEB. Yeah, actually, this is not a low flow. I gotta move this one up. Uh, NBEV is not a low flow. We'll put it on here, and then uh, we move we move it from here. All right. So HMI, HMI is interesting. Again, we do have shares for sure. It is on a short selling restriction, um, but again, uh, just not not sure on this one here. But we'll find some levels because it it does have an interesting daily chart with this drop over here. Uh, 
let's get a level in here so right now it's looking pretty weak uh low of the pre-market right now at 950 high of the pre-market at 1050 1049 to be exact and then in here i do like how it's again we're at this support level where it's been tested several times last year right look at the price actions look how you have all this level this line right in here with the prices you got a several supports in that area i'm gonna go into um october november and see if i could find uh the next drop here would be 913 and also this one all the way down here at uh, a68 if we lose this level where we at now it looks like we tested this level uh several times last year and we got a few bounces out of it so that could be interesting uh, obviously they have not been doing well for the last couple of months dropping here um quite a bit pre-market action is a little funky though um i don't i'm not sure on the pre-market action i'm not not a not a favorite but we'll throw it on here in case we can get get it off our scanners with some movement grts drts um grts we do have shares for sure on grts and the float on this one is 11 so we got some low flows that are moving today and we do have shares for sure which is scary on a float um that's 11 million shares flow um 985 we have a level down here right now it's trying to hold to the the what the price action is is a, is a very clean level as well so it's going to mark it down right about 1091 you can see these days on here all this consolidating here look at how this day bounces right back from this 985 and closes in this area as well this day come tests that and then takes off so that that seems like a good level of um of support or resistance uh towards the top you got the high of the pre-market and then uh you have above that you have plenty of levels towards the top here previous day close and, and, high, and high as well uh lows and high of the two days trading two two, uh, two trading days ago so um but i'm not sure on the pre-market action just looks very choppy guys again only 157,000 shares trade doesn't look great um so it's not not one that I, I i tend to keep at least not on my watch list i'll have it on here on my list just to tune into it see how it does but not one that i um that i'm gonna keep this one here is scary though guys this was going from uh under a buck trading at eight dollars now in the last four days so i'm concerned with this one this this flow is uh 600 so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna watch this one i mean i'll put some levels on it i'll check it later on in the mid morning but i'm not i'm not looking to trade this one it just looks like like norm mentioned it looks like a typical typical pump and dump and I, I really don't yeah. want no no part of this so high of the pre-market is at 670 uh, 775 and then above that this we we went back and i don't see anything um above this so again it's been really trading let's go back let's go back yeah it's been oh here it is so going back yeah we're going back 2007 2006 i'm not sure how, how good these levels are even going to be now uh on a stock like this so um yeah We'd be careful with this one guys i'm not gonna watch this one there's too too much of a low float the risk is too high all right anything else uh twitter let's look at twitter so twitter what's the daily chart look like on twitter um yes yeah, it's, it's hanging in here but today's not really uh, in play uh it's only 65,000 shares traded again it's got a good daily chart with some positive news right um but uh, i'm not gonna watch it today i think we have other ones that are really in play like a facebook uh so you got Facebook. Yeah, this is pretty active here. It's got some good volume, 2.5 now. Uh, Microsoft as well. It's got a nice range, got some good volume on here. They're at the all-time high, but I'm going to mark this level in here as well because it looks like we might be finding some some area of support here, 130.77, clearly in here, and now we're testing it here. So maybe we get a bounce out of that. Uh, Tesla, oh, there it goes. Tesla's bouncing from this uh, 254 area. Um, so again, that 254 has been it's been some support for uh, several times. A couple of days, a couple of weeks ago, in here, and then if you go back, you can also see in here as well um, that 254 couldn't break that. So um, getting a small bounce. Who knows if we come back and test that area again? Uh, but Tesla definitely in play with 457,000 shares traded. Um, XLNX also looks good. We have a level here, low of the pre market 124.50. Um, so it broke that 124.80. Um, again, looks pretty weak on the daily chart. Uh, but again, you don't want to be short bias when you trade this one this morning. See what the price action is giving you. Um, but it's got some good volume. It's got a nice little drop here. We have another level down at 122.49. Uh, AMD is not doing much, but I do like uh, the daily chart in AMD. And also we know AMD can trade very well. And then we got MBEV also finding some support here around 6. Uh, see if we can get a bounce out of MBEV. And then out of these low floats, 
Um, I think the best one, I'm only going to watch one really. I think the best one is really uh, HMI. Uh, HMI, we do have shares for short. It is on a short selling restriction, uh, but it's been down over the last couple of days. Um, and I think it's probably the one that you can best manage your risk on. So that's the one I'm going to watch today. GRTS doesn't really have enough volume and ARC looks great. But again, just want to be very careful with that one. I'll keep it on here just to see it, just to see the action for entertainment purposes only, but not really going to be uh, looking to trade that one. Uh, although we do have shares for sure. That's interesting. Um, all right. Okay, folks, anything else that we might have missed? Norm, anything you see that you like uh, that has popped up from what you mentioned earlier? No, nothing, nothing new. Nothing new. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Now let's look at it. Uh, someone is mentioning PayPal. What is PayPal up to? Uh, all right, so no volume at the moment. Let's see what the daily chart is. Yeah, it's daily chart is again. It all, you got all these stocks probably hitting their 52 week high because the market is doing good. Let's see what the spy is doing. Spy's been doing great. People are happy. People are excited. They're buying. 401ks are looking good. Everything is uh, everything is up. Everybody's excited. So, um, but yeah, markets again just kind of sold off yesterday. Opening up pretty flat today. Um, well, not, not sold off. A small pullback. This is not a sell off. You know, this is a sell off. This this is a sell off. This is a small pullback. This is still a very very strong market somewhat from what we're seeing over the last couple of days, right? Um, v has earning. What is V? V has earnings. Let's just take a look at that. Right now, they're not doing uh, a lot, but it's something you can watch uh, later. We could look for in our scanners. Um, so I took off MO. Why did I take off? I took off MO because again, the price action just looks funky. That's the reason why I took off. It, it MO. can be MO can be tough to trade. There, yeah. There's a lot of uh, big institutional guys that won't touch it just mm -hmm. be first of all I mean it's a nice stock but also because it's a cigarette manufacturer that they won't mess with it gotcha that makes sense so yes yeah, so I took off MO I think the, um, I think we have other stuff that looks uh, that looks and trades better um, I just didn't like the price action on, on it really and and look at the last couple of uh, minutes right since 820s really hasn't done much right you got this look at this one drop here 50,000 shares um, again it's just not a very clean pre-market action uh, Qcom, let's see what Qcom is doing. That's again, you want to be careful with Qcom. It's it's been, it had a had a great day, right? Had a great day here. Had a couple of days in here where it actually did some movement. This is pure chop, but it's got some days here with this some movement. But yesterday was very choppy, and right now it's kind of overextended uh, from you know from its normal trading range. Well, obviously it has some serious good news going on, um, but just be careful with it. Be careful with it. at the open. It's get, it gets a lot of volume. Uh, and it could be very choppy. The best way to, to uh, trade QCOM is to is to scalp it, really. You know, get in and out fast because the pullbacks seem to be very aggressive. And that's what you want to be careful with. I mean, this is yesterday. Yesterday went a nice little run, right? Yesterday after it lost the VWAP here, right? Kind of like a, kind of a false VWAP breakout. Um, and they just lost it here nicely. Um, but it's hard to, to identify this move when, you know, you spend an hour just chopping around it, right? Just chopping around it. How do I know that this is not going to do the same thing again, right? Um, it's just very choppy and difficult to uh, to trade. When it broke out here, I actually thought it was going to actually hit the higher day, and it didn't do that, right? So you got a nice double top here. Um, but again, just because it's so choppy and the pullbacks are so aggressive, uh, this thing can move, right? It goes from 188, 188 uh, all the way down to 185. So be careful with the numbers of shares you take and how you trade this one. Um, but I think it will get the volume today, even though it's choppy now. I think it will get the volume today because it's just been very active. Um, just hopefully it can it can actually get a direction uh, Actually, you know, I'll put it on here just to look at it later in the morning, but I won't watch as part of my six for the start uh, One two three four five six. Yep. This will be my list Eduardo it does look like it wants to go down. I mean again, it's, it's overextended on the daily chart. It does look like it wants to uh, You know head lower here. It's kind of Top looking a little toppy here, but again, just be careful with it because this could just be consolidating. Could just continue to chop around here uh, for the next couple of days. All right, folks, I think that is all we have. Yeah, Benny, uh, QCOM, like we said, it's not easy. We had a tough time trading. I had a good scalp on it um, yesterday, but I got out of it so fast because I, I just the minute I took profit, I'm like, wait a minute, this thing price action is a little wild. Um, and then to try to take it again for sure, I got stopped out on it. Um, again, just just tough stuff, uh, very hard 
tough stock to trade. All right, guys, I think this is our list. So we have Facebook, Microsoft, Tesla, X and LX. Um, I'm sorry, XL and X, AMD and uh, NBEV. And again, AMD is not really doing much, but I like the way it traded yesterday. So I'm watching it just to see if it can give us another good opportunity today. And then for the low flows, the, the cleanest one looks like HMI, but not really. I'm not looking to take a trade on it. Just want to watch the action on this. Um, I'm also watching ARCI. This one, be careful. 600 million share flow. I mean, 600,000, 600,000 share flow. Be careful. Uh, daily chart looks a little funky. Um, so uh, careful how you trade this stock. All right, guys, thank you for joining the pre-market show, um, folks. Oh, just a few a few announcements. So we're in the week of our practice week for uh, the Bear Bush Traders Challenge. You still have time to join all the way until Sunday, I believe. Yeah. I have that right? Okay. So yep. um, make sure to take a look at that. Join now if you're going to join so you can get some practice in. Um, so we look forward to starting the, the action on Monday. Monday we go... Um, is the is the actual start of the challenge. So look forward to see how that goes. Again, with the new rules, I think um, it's important we're going to be focusing on consistency, not just the one and done um, um, situation. Uh, also, another uh, important announcement: uh, there's a meetup in Goa uh, Airport, India, April 26. Uh, Andrew is going to be there. Abby will post the link over here so you can see it in our in our announcement tab as well as in the in the YouTube uh, chat room uh, comments. So make sure you check that out. Um, and then we'll see you guys tomorrow, 8.30 Eastern time as, as we get nearing to ending the week of trading. Take care, guys, and trade safe. Two more today. things I wanted to throw, yep, I wanted ahead, to throw out uh, before you uh, turn off YouTube. First one is if you're in the YouTube chat and you have not ever tried our room, um, you can use a promo car code uh, PREMARKET24 that will uh, give it to you two weeks trial deal for uh, trial in the chat room for half price. Nice. Um, so give that a shot if you're interested in trading with us live, not just doing the pre-market show. And then also Andrew's going to be here in Texas uh, next month, May 19th in Dallas, May 20th. He and I will both be in Austin as well. So yeah, love to see you there. Yeah, make sure you catch that, guys. Again, you don't have to be a member to uh, hang out with uh, with Norman uh, and Andrew. So um, check out the link and, and let us know you're coming and and uh, go have a drink with the guys and hang out, talk talk trading. So. Um, and one more thing also too before we forget i almost forgot um andrew again he's not if you join us for the first time uh, again andrew's not going to trade today or tomorrow but he's back next week um just want to keep that in mind because i know a lot of people you know that you're probably new just signed up and you're thinking wait a minute where's andrew you know he is just traveling he will be back uh uh next week all right guys take care um and we will see you tomorrow 8 30 eastern time take care guys trade safe